What's up, YouTube? This is Grayman47 coming to you with another video. Uh, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to talk to you about my AR-15 and how I run my AR-15. So let's get into it. So the AR-15 that I uh, have here is made by Stag Arms. It is actually the Stag Arms Model 15. Um, this uh, rifle has been very good to me, runs just flawlessly, it's smooth. Uh, just functions very very well um, No malfunctions with this rifle whatsoever. Uh, just a good quality uh, firearm So if you notice if you look at the firearm you notice that I have a two-tone kind of color setup color scheme And I have the flat dark earth mixed with black um, Part of the gun is black part uh, of the gun is also flat dark earth I selected to go with that combination just because I think it looks good. Uh, I wanted something a little bit different than the all black that I traditionally have. So that's why I made that selection. So I'm just going to take a look at how I run this uh, rifle. Uh, I'm going to start from the stock and then just kind of move over. So starting with the stock, this is a Magpul three position um, stock, adjustable stock. Uh, love this stock. It works very well. Uh, very lightweight. Uh, has rubber at the end of it, so it makes it a little bit easier on your shoulder for the recoil um, So just a great stock all around The grip I have on here that I put on here is a Magpul grip also And if you have any experience with Magpul aftermarket grips uh, You know that they're really good quality. I love the way that they feel the angle is like just right uh, So it's a good a uh, nice piece of equipment to have on my AR also, if you notice at the very bottom, um, it actually opens up. And if it open, once you open it up, uh, you could store a couple extra rounds in there. You could store uh, pretty much anything that you could fit in there uh, that you would think would be worth storing in there. So there is a little bit of extra storage space with this grip. All right, and so moving forward, the magazines that I have are all Magpul magazines, 30 round mags. This one is just a plain um, flat dark earth magazine, 30 round. And this gun is safety checked prior to the actual video. Uh, as you can see over here, I have a couple of, couple of other magazines as well. One is a flat dark earth with the window. And then the other is just a plain black um, Magpul magazine, both 30 rounds. And I have, I think, maybe four or five other additional magazines that are uh, Magpul as well. Uh, I just don't have them out here today. All right, so moving right along on this rifle, um, I also have a Flat Dark Earth um, handguard here. It's a free, free floating handguard, uh, which I think is nice. The aesthetics are nice. It's lightweight, uh, just works very well. And attached to it, I have some uh, Picatinny rails. Uh, additional Picatinny rails on the side and also on the bottom uh, and then you notice that there's Picatinny rails all the way across um, uh, the top of the gun itself so you can mount a number of different accessories um, one of the accessories that I have mounted to this rail um, is a um, light it is actually a grip light it is a hundred <coughs> I think 150 lumen um, so not super bright uh, but it's it's bright enough. It gets the job done. Uh, it'll light up most um, You know situations that are uh, that you would need a light in so it works pretty well It's actually pretty lightweight. So it doesn't add a lot of uh, weight and bulk to this to this firearm So it's not a bad uh, bad little um, grip there also uh, on the top rail I have um, metal sights Flip up and flip down metal sights, front and rear. The rear sight has uh, three different apertures that you can just kind of roll and flick and change it to. And then the front sight is just a post sight, a plain post sight, black post sight. All right. So when I'm not using my iron sights, and typically I'm opting to go with my optic, red dot optic that I have up front or here in the middle, uh, I have a sight mark. Um, red dot optic there and it has a few different apertures uh, for your selection as well as brightness You can adjust for windage and elevation all of the normal things that you get with uh, an optic um, These optics 
The Sightmark optics um, actually are pretty sturdy. I've always had good experience with these optics, um, so no exception with this one here. I've had this one for a few years, and I've kind of put it through the test, and it's, it's stood up uh, to a lot of uh, beating and a lot of wear and tear. So great optic here. Um, and in addition to this optic on the top rail, I also have a green laser made by Sightmark, which you can easily adjust with the knobs on the top and bottom. So you can adjust it to go uh, up and down or left to right uh, very easily. Uh, pretty cool optic, like I said, it's the green laser, so easy to pick up uh, even in the daylight. Um, just a really good optic there. The barrel on this is a 16 inch barrel. Um, so, you know, you're gonna get great performance, ballistic performance from your rounds on a 16 inch barrel. So, you know, that's what I have there. As far as the safety and the trigger, both of those two, two things are uh, stock. I didn't change those out or do anything uh, different with those. So they are both stock and they work just fine. Um, I have no issues with the trigger. Um, it's just a stock trigger. Again, I'm, I, like I always say in my other videos, I'm not a, a trigger snob. So, and I'm not a um, competitor. I don't do any type of like three gun competitions and things where I need special triggers or lightweight trigger. So this trigger works just fine for me as a stock trigger. All right, so I also run a uh, single point sling um, made by Tough Zone. Uh, just a basic single point sling, quick detach um, sling with the uh, rifle. I just attach it right to the back and I can run it just like that. All right, and like I said, it has a quick detach and you're good to go. All right, so that is my AR-15, uh, that's what I run. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you have any advice or any uh, suggestions as to how to make this gun even better, please let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Um, so like I always say, if you ain't packing, you slacking. I'll see you when I see you.